Okay, next up, we would like to find the solution set of the inequality. So, before we start doing this, we need to understand what it is that we're looking for. And so we know that we can write 2x minus 3 as a function of x. And what this question is asking for is when is 2x minus 3, so my function, less than 7? And so if I just quickly go to Desmos, cancel my previous ones, 2x minus 3. When is the output, so when is my y value here, less than 7? And so I'm asking for the x values that will give me an output less than 7. And so already from the graph, I can see it's going to be when x is less than 5. Um, but now let's mathematically do it really, really quickly. So you get 2x minus 3 less than 7. You can move the 3 on over to become 2x is less than 7 plus 3. So 2x is less than 10. Divide out the 2 and we get when x is less than 5, which is exactly what we see here. We're not going to include the 5 because we're, we've been asked for when the output is less than 7, not when the output is 7. At x is equal to 5, the output is 7. And so our answer is going to be when x is less than 7. Sorry, is less than 5. And so the solution set is going to be all values of x that are less than 5. I'm just going to go from negative infinity to positive 5, not inclusive of the 5, and negative infinity, you can't include it. So apart from understanding like what the question is asking for, um, a really good way to ensure that like you fully understood the question is what um, applications in the real world would you have for a question like this. And a really great one is like let's say you have a function that tells you um, the downward force of an elevator um, as a function of the number of people. On the elevator and so let's say that's like whatever a function of um, X sorry so like just as an example let's say each person weighs sorry um, you have X people and you have each person weighing um, 40 kilograms, and then you're going to need to multiply it by the 9.8, and then you're going to need to add the weight of the actual elevator. And so what an, what an inequality like this would be asking for is when is f of x less than some maximum value that whenever it would be, we'd be in trouble. So like when is f of x less than the maximum um, tension that the rope carrying the elevator can take? And so from this, you'd be able to find what your maximum x value can be. And this is where you get like the rules that say you can only have 15 people on an elevator. Is an example of an application for this question. Hmm.